Hey folks, this is Z-Man with Kadesh Farm. Today, I want you guys to just kind of ride along with me uh, as I come out and deal with uh, our cow, uh, single cow out on this property. Um, usually I come every two days or every other day. Sometime when the weather is right, I'll come every day uh, when it's feasible and, re and especially in relation to my job, in regards to my job and if I'm able to get off or not. Um, but today I'll be unrolling hay for her. Tonight is supposed to get down to about 25, 26 degrees. And I want to make sure that she has some stuff to munch on. I'll also give her some feed. My son had some feed left over from a, a, a project from his job. And instead of throwing it away, I'm just going to give it to the cow. We typically don't feed our animals feed, but why let this feed go to waste? It's some high quality horse feed and she'll eat it. And based off of her manure, she looked like she needs some protein. Uh, protein tubs are pretty hard to come by right now just because we are so late in the winter and a lot of folks are buying them up. And plus they weigh roughly about 50 to 100 pounds. When I'm out here working by myself, it's usually pretty hard for me to try and mess with that. Um, also, I'll kind of be starting up my truck. I'll be doing just many things. You just kind of follow along as I just do my daily chore or every other day chore out here with our cow. I'll take your ride on my four wheel as I'm strolling through to go up to where I keep the hay. using a selfie stick I'm trying to get a little martin here put my toe strap on my four wheeler and grab my bar it's about time for me to dump the water clean it out and also it'll be time for me to move it because now you see where she's pugging the ground. I've been putting hay on top of it to try and keep uh, bare soil from showing. But boy, all this manure and urine right here, this is gonna be a pretty fertile site after we move her off of it and let it heal. We had the same thing down here. And I'll just walk down there. Got a little bit of time today. Man, I like the selfie stick. This is a natural collection of water. So I will be looking at possibly putting some grasses. Right now I have, um, I had some leftover ryegrass and it came, grew in good. Then we had that big deep freeze, it killed it back. Now it tried to grow back, but also we got standing water. So I will be putting some type of plants or grasses here that loves a lot of water. I call this the soggy bottom because it is always soggy when it rains. If you look down through here, this is where I had her at before. I went and found an area where she just kind of messed over some hay and I took it to cover the ground so we wouldn't have any bare soil. Uh, we can at least get some growth out of it. This stuff is full of pumpkin seeds and uh, grass seeds from hay that I've put out here. Man, I just not, I can't wait till this spring to see how this stuff will do. Oh, one important thing I forgot to do, turn my fence off. I sure hate to get shocked on camera. charger I think I said in a video before I have a Patriot 1000 
it's one of the bigger chargers i would show you how i'm turning it off i don't want to get myself zapped basically i turned that off i have this gadget on here to let me know whenever the electricity is off that'll let me know either something is wrong or i turned it off so now i know that this wire is not hot i can step over it i'll show you my setup here this is all solar i have some alligator clips set up for my reels there we go these little deals here that are on the reels that is what you hook your alligator clip to see if i can there it is up under there and this reel is hot i have it running all the way over down through there then it'll cut across then i got another wire because i don't want her in this section over here i'm gonna do something different over here I'm kind of running some some little tests to see some experiments to just see what work and what doesn't work we got plenty of time especially when you just have one beautiful cow out here um we'll do some experiments and hopefully i'll video it kind of let you guys know that'll be another video though going back to this this is the patriot 1000 they call it the sg 1000 let's see if you can see it here patriot and boy does this bad boy pack a punch if you accidentally touched it. i reached and grabbed it with a pair of leather gloves on and they were damp and it still got me but i love this little gadget here the fence alert to let me know whether my fence is on or not i could drive down my driveway and see if i forgot to turn the fence on it makes a world of difference she doesn't even try the fence anymore she tried it once and got zapped and she's a pretty tame animal Grab my bar, head on up here. One of the things I always do when I come out to the property is this is our old farm truck. I will start it up and let it run for a little while just to keep the battery flowing or charged and keep things going. I am getting used to using this selfie stick so you guys are going to have to bear with me. You can tell it's a farm truck because I have my Timothy grass, some that horse feed I was telling you about, some straps that my dad gave me, boots in case I have to come out here in an emergency. This is a true farm truck, but it works well. It's a 92 Chevy, strong engine. Start up with these. I just had to put an alternator on it. And it's been working pretty good. All right now, I'm gonna head on up. Hopefully I can get the camera stabilized on my four wheeler where I can get the Angelo bar put in and get the strap on and show you guys how that works. Speaking of putting the bar in, I need to make sure I grab my trusty heavy duty hammer. A lot of these items I'm able to just leave out here. Typically don't have folks bothering our things. That's my water tank on the back of the truck. Where's little Z when I need it? 